um, just a brief history about the place. It used to be a paper mill. And there's the pool, Herka Pool, which we will we'll be walking past on the right a bit later on. The reason why I brought you down, down to Herka Woods and Herka Pool is to see a boathouse that has been converted um, into a bat house, to be per perfectly honest. A bat cave, you might say. There's a couple of uh, mallards just swimming by. Anyway, back to the back cave. The back cave. Yeah, there was lots of bats that used to go into the into the boathouse. So what they decided to do was to um, do it up a little bit, convert it into a uh, a place for the bats to actually settle. Uh, so that's what we're going to go and have a look at. We're also going to have a look at the nature of the of the woods, Urquhart uh, Woods. So here we go. Today is my D3200 with a 18105 lens. I usually come out with a D300 with a 55 to 300 millimeter lens, but I've come out with this one today to give this one a whirl. I can also do some movies on it, some video on it, so I might be using that as well. But I um, I use my iPhone success a lot to take a lot of the pictures and videos. So that's what the equipment today. And there is Erka Pool. Just want to just give you some indication of what's going on in the Oka Pools and Woods Nature Reserve. Like I said, we come down to this old boathouse. It's been turned into a back cave. That's the main reason we come down. them out for a walk. Hopefully they've cleaned up what the dogs left on the floor. Took it with them. When the car arrives, another dog owner with his uh, dogs come out. It's a nice little walk. Past the pool on the left. As you can see, Bit of a cold day again, mind you, it is February, it's coming to the end of February. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, which was uh, about uh, Forge Pool, please take a look. I'll put up the, uh, the card at the top for you to have a, to have a link so that it will take you onto there. It's usually the way, looking in the trees, you can see lots of little birds, lots of wild birds out there. Because I haven't bought my 55 to 300 lens today, I can't get too close to them. That's typical. When I've got it on, I can't catch any birds at all. But, uh, oh well, never mind. Okay, we're coming up to it in a moment. I'll just give you a, a bit of a view of the woods on the left. Not much going on. Well, there's lots of cars in the car park. I couldn't see many people about. Anyway, we're coming up to the back cave, the old boat house, which has been converted into this back cave, like I said. Uh, there it is. Many years ago I came along and it was really run down. But they have um, put a new roof on. And uh, we're going to have a look. It's called the ba a Boathouse Bat Restoration Project. There's a bit of a notice board there. It gives you information on it. That was before. That's the last time I saw it. Actually, I think I've got some pictures of that at home. I'll, I'll try and find them out and put them on this video for you to have a look at. And now we've got after there's four bats in there that are housed in here. So um, that's why they've done it. Endangered species. So they've worked together with the Wi-Fi Council, the Bird Bat Com uh, Conservation Trust and a few other trusts to put this together and 
and um, I haven't seen any bats come out, but um, obviously there are some in there. The old boat house converted into the bat cave. That's where the bats actually go in. They've actually locked the, some kind of locks on the, on the door there. That's where the bats come in. And like I said, there do not enter bat roost. Oh, there's some holes there where they must fly in as well. Don't know too much about bats. It would be a good time to come at night, perhaps. Okay, let's move along. It's pretty spooky right here, doesn't it? But still, I think it's quite beautiful, actually, the way the trees are at this moment in time. pictures of this bull rush part of the lake. It's quite interesting. Uh, moving on a bit, moving a bit further past the lake now. to come and, walk, uh, come and have a, a look over the lake. I think this part of the lake is quite impressive actually, with all the bulrushes there. I'm surprised it's not a lot higher than what it is. Because of the rain we've had lately. This uh, fungi that's growing at the edge of this bark, this briar bark here. This tree that's fell on the floor. There's some berries that's come out on the holly, which really, really goes really nice with the green and the red. Oh, 
here in, in the US, in Louisiana. All you need is a couple of Cajuns coming up on the boat. Looking for some gators, but no gators here. Just Mr. Hawk. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. He's just flown past. There again, too slow. I've never had my, my telephoto lens on me zoom lens. The 55 to uh, 300, that would have been perfect. I can't see him, he's gone. It was a massive bird, massive hawk. Oh, there's a magpie. Just come out. Say hello. He's come out after the, the hawk has gone. Oh dear, never mind. I don't know if you can hear, but just a. I, think, I don't know what it is. It sounds like a woodpecker. from the dogs. And it's stopped. The dogs are making too much noise so you can't hear the, the woodpecker going at it. Probably frightened it now. It's time to shut up shop and make my way back. Hope you've enjoyed this little nature walk today. Sorry about missing the hawk, that would have been a great video piece to put on. So I'm going to head my way back to the car and go and drive off back home and have a cup of tea. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to uh, see some more of my nature photography, nature walks, please uh, ring the bell so you can get them soon as the indication as soon as of when they come. When I posted them, I hope you like this. The main reason was to come and have a look at the bat house, the project that's been done to try to help the endangered bats in the area so don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time on Bob's nature photography and nature walks take care until next time bye for now